Voting rights is a topic around the country tonight, including here in New Mexico. Today marks 58 years since Bloody Sunday, when hundreds of protesters pushing for equal rights for black Americans were attacked by Alabama state troopers. Today, President Joe Biden walked side by side with community members and activists in Selma. He addressed the crowd, reflecting on the need for people to know the truth about Selma and the history there. And he drew attention to the continued fight for voting rights that still rages on across the country. Conservative Supreme Court has gutted the Voting Rights Act over the years. Since the 2020 election, a wave of states and dozens, dozens of anti-voting laws fueled by the big lie and the election deniers now elected to office. State lawmakers in New Mexico are considering many proposals that would change laws surrounding voting. Spencer Shad joins us to break down what they would do and how close they may be to becoming law. And Spencer, Democrats, with, with the majority in the roundhouse, are pushing for expanding voting rights, but Republicans have proposals too. That's right, Tommy. There are a handful of bills making their way through both the House and the Senate, but some of those bills are closer to the governor's desk than others. HB4, simply called the Voting Rights Protection Act, covers a lot of ground, proposing automatic voter registration, allowing felons to vote after serving their sentence, increasing the number of polling places across the state, especially on Pueblo land, and declaring Election Day a school holiday. We're trying to make sure that people in um, uh, sparsely populated areas, the frontier counties, have every opportunity to vote just as easily as my constituents do in Albuquerque. The Democrat-sponsored bill has passed the House and has already passed one Senate committee. With the vote of five to two, you get a due pass, Senator, and so on to the next bill. But that's not without its opponents. Most of the votes moving this bill forward have come down to party lines. And I certainly hope that we can put forward good amendments to make this bill better, because there are many good parts of this bill but a lot of parts that are very bad that really could corrode our system. Representative John Block and other Republicans have put forward their own bills that address voting rights. Block's bill, HB 110, would get rid of the long list of identification currently accepted at New Mexico polling places and replace it with only an NVD-issued driver's license or ID card. This bill is still waiting to be heard in a committee. The Republicans have also called for the emergency creation of a voter's education an election task force. This bill, HB 86, would create a task force that would study our current election system, from registration to counting absentee ballots, and even educate voters on the importance of keeping your registration up to date and how to use online voting tools. This bill has yet to be heard in committee. Back to the Democrats, there are two very similar bills making their way through both the House and the Senate. Essentially, HB 54 and SB 73 would allow voters who are not registered with a majority party to still vote in primary elections without declaring a party affiliation. Currently, only those registered with a party can vote in the primaries. So far, HB 54 has passed one committee and is waiting to be heard in the judiciary. As for the Senate version of the bill, SB 73 has passed the Senate floor and is only one step away from being voted on in the House. Tommy? We'll keep following them. Thank you, Spencer.